Josh Bradley, Landmark Implement Vended. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, class six and sevens maintenance on the left hand side. So we'll start here up front. Uh, you got your uh, upper feeder house drive belt here. Uh, you got your tension here with the go no go gauge. Basically, run that washer uh, up to the first shoulder. Um, and once you get out, you're good to go again. Uh, you got a grease circ right here on your uh, feed accelerator bearing. It's a 400 hour. Again, I recommend on those um, a couple times a day or a couple times every day, a couple pumps. Um, real pump bearings here again. Uh, you're greasing this cavity inside there, so uh, maybe five pumps uh, at least every other day or something, five to ten. Uh, push that fresh grease back up inside there. You got your final grade drive grease circ, which is a 400 hour grease circ. Uh, again, greasing that one two or three pumps every day. Keep those bearings, keep a little fresh grease in those bearings, recommended. Over here, you got your plug. Uh, with this one here, this should be uh, your check here on your final drive. Uh, you'll fill with this plug, check with this one, fill it till it runs out. Uh, you're good to go. Uh, this drive shaft here on these uh, six and sevens will not have any grease circs as long as they are not a pro drive. If uh, the, uh, the pro drive is an option on uh, six and seven machines. Um, so you may have the option of greasing that drive shaft, just depends. Uh, you'll notice because that drive shaft is way bigger in a pro drive machine than it is in a non pro drive. Uh, that would be with actually, that would be not with pro drive, it would actually be with the uh, five speed feeder out, sorry. But those two usually come hand in hand. So um, with that, uh, you've got a, they took the grease circ out of here, so guys on the 600s, so you don't have to worry about a grease circ on this anymore. I believe it is completely gone. It is greaseless now, so don't worry about that grease circ. Um, with uh, uh, your fan drive here, um, the 400 hours, I believe it was. Again, uh, wouldn't hurt two or three pumps every day. Put some fresh grease in it. Uh, your chain tension here. Uh, again, this one's kind of turned backwards, uh, but you climb up there, uh, adjust it down uh, to within spec again on that shoulder, uh, run for two or three days maybe. Uh, there is a grease circ uh, up on this drive shaft right in this area for the splines, uh, it basically just so it slides back and forth. Uh, again, that's kind of a, it doesn't hurt to grease it every, at least once a week or something. There is a grease circ up here. And I ain't gonna move because it's stuck with the clutch. Uh, my finger's on the grease circ right up here. Uh, there is a grease circ here. Um, it basically, uh, from what last I knew, it was a factory install grease circ. Uh, just greases up inside here. Um, maybe once a week, it probably wouldn't hurt to get it greased up good. Uh, I've Pump several pumps into this and have never had it come out, so don't expect it to come out. But probably put 10 pumps in it when you grease it once a week, get some fresh grease in that. Your uh, debris management filter again uh, with this one here, we're sucking air in uh, a lot of more than likely dirty air. These filters do get very dirty. I recommend blowing them out every day uh, and changing them one, uh, every year, changing them once every year. Come back, we got a grease circ right there on your uh, shiv, your drive shiv of your rotor. Uh, that one, probably grease it every other day, once a week. They recommend it's 400, uh, but I would definitely get some in it at least once a week. Uh, coming down and around, we got your discharge feeder uh, grease circ here. Uh, it's a 400 hour grease circ. That one is two to three pumps every day. Uh, put some fresh grease right back in her. Uh, your upper chopper drive belt tension is right here. Again, it's the same tension uh, that we've seen uh, back to the shoulder. Uh, anywhere from the shoulder to the end, it's a go, no go. Uh, coming down and around, you've got uh, this one ain't going to turn very well. You got your grease circ right here for your bearing in there for your unload. 
drive shaft coming out. Um, that one again, give that one two or three pumps every day. I think it's a 400 hour grease circ again. But uh, I, I recommend just every, every grease circ on this machine grease every other day, day in there with just a few pumps. Uh, coming down, we got your discharge beater uh, belt tensioner. Again, same gauge. Um, run it in, tension it up, and uh, you know let it run out to here, and tension it back up. You're good to go. Same way on your chopper here. Same tensioners. Um, as we're coming through, we've got uh, you've got your three greasers here for your spindles. Uh, you got two here for your two spindles, and you got your uh, uh, wheel bearing greaser. Again, um, the wheel bearing I recommend every two, uh, two, two, three pumps a day uh, for your kingpin or your uh, spindle bushing or bearings here. Uh, you know, you probably get them every other day. Got one grease circ right here on your tie rod. Again, uh, I think that's uh, I think that's a 400 hour actually if I looked.